smoked lobster dick. I'm Greg from Stewie's Barbecue, and let me show you how it's done. Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode from Stewie's Barbecue Channel. I'm Greg, and we have today a smoked lobster dip. Let's go through the ingredients really quick here, and then we'll get to making it. So first of all, I've got one pound of lobster thawed, so it dried and pat it down. Some regular chips, just kind of broken up, that'll go on the top of the dip. Eight ounces of cream cheese, one third cup of sour cream, and a half a cup of mayo. Eight ounces of shredded Gruyere cheese. Two ounces of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated. A teaspoon each of dill and chives. One teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. And then we're gonna add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard as well, and then some salt and pepper. All right, so first we're gonna pop in the cream cheese. And then we're gonna get the mayo in there. That all in. And then the sour cream. So now I'm going to just take this and mix it around. Kind of just mix it up. I should note too that the uh, all these have been sitting on the counter for about an hour just to get to room temperature. It's easier to mix and stir that way. All right, so let's get the dill in and the chives. I'm going to save some of this for the topping, just for a little, little, you know, picturesque topping at the very end. Okay. So we're not going to put all of this in here, but I'll save a pinch or two. We'll mix that around. All right. Lemon zest. And then let's get a teaspoon of the Dijon mustard as well. All right, so let's just add just a pinch of salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna do a couple of turns each on these. Perfect, and we're gonna spin that around as well, mix that up really nice. And then let's start adding in the lobster and the cheese. So I got the Gruyere here, so we're just gonna go a little bit at a time here. Instead of dumping it all in, just get it mixed around. A little easier that way. So I got all the Gruyere cheese in there, so let's get the parm in there. And we'll mix that around as well. That looks great. And now it's time for the best part of the whole thing, the lobster. All right, so we've got it all mixed up. So now I've got this little pie plate. You can use whatever you'd like if you've got an eight inch pie plate. This is a nine inch I just bought at the store. Um, it's, it's perfect for this. I'm just gonna pop this in here. We're gonna pat it all down, smooth it all down. And then we're gonna add the potato chips on top. And then we'll, I'll let you know exactly what we're gonna do with the smoker. Okay, so I've got it all in there. It's all smoothed out, it's level, it looks good. I've got my little broken up regular potato chips. These are just a ruffle potato chip and they just go on the top. Like just, just place them around. Okay, so I got the chips on, we're ready to go. The smoker is at 400 degrees. I'm just using a mixed blend of pellets from a, a company called True North. They're fantastic, I absolutely love them. So I'm gonna put that on for about 30 minutes, maybe even 20. The basic thing you need to look at is probably check it around the 20 minute mark. If the cheese is bubbling on the top, then you're ready to go, let it cool down and then let it serve. So I'm gonna go put it on right now and then we'll check it again in 20 minutes. All right, so it's been exactly 25 minutes. We're gonna get it off now. As you can see, the cheese is bubbling. I've got my mitts. Let's bring it inside, let it cool down and then let's check and see how it tastes.
All right, I've let it sit for a little while. Let's get to tasting it. I got a little cracker here. Now, honestly, it doesn't matter what you use to, to use for your dip. Uh, you can use corn chips, chips, crackers. It really is no wrong answer. I've just got a, a cracker here, so I'm going to give it a go. Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Look at that cheese pull. What food blogger doesn't want to have that in their video? <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks so good. All right. <laughs> Once I get this cheese under control, I'm actually going to try it. Wow, that Gruyere is unbelievable. That is one of the best things I've ever made in my life. This recipe is unbelievable. I took the recipe from a website. I will put it in the link in the description. So if you want to make it and have the actual instructions, or you can just follow along on this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you really like the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and hit that notifications button for updates and when I release all my videos. Thanks. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.